Welcome back to camp, Rad Pack. Check this out, guys. We just got up here. Saw this tree broke off right here. And look at this. We had like five trees blow down while we were gone. All in just one spot. See, look at it. It broke off. This is awful close to camp too, guys. You look at this one over here. And they're really broke off. Okay, we didn't saw them or nothing. We're documenting this. Look at that. And camp's right there. So I think we're just going to saw up all these and use them as firewood. Nature helped us out. We got quite a storm brewing up over there. Looks like a little tornado came through here. It does, right? Because it's just this one area. Yeah, look around, guys. There's nothing. Nothing blown down. That tree was already like that. All these, all just in one spot. Right next to our camp. Luckily, none fell right in camp. Wow, huh? It's wild. I'm just dumbfounded. Oh, looks like it broke this one too. Good thing our tent wasn't here. Yeah. <laughs> we would be pushed. This used to be our trail, remember guys, when we used to come walking through here? Go back and watch the past videos if you don't remember. A lot of the hiking videos, we used to walk right through there. That was. A, you can see our path. We're getting quite the pile of firewood now, guys. Got the fire going. Curtis is over here sawing on this stuff. I've been just gathering all the broken off tops of the trees. And you're going to get launched like a catapult over there, man. Yeah, this one's going to whip up and go flying. Oh, I hear it cracking. I'm moving. Look at all the destruction. On the way up here, carrying my stuff, I was thinking, oh, i got to gather a lot of firewood. Now look. Thank you, nature. Yeah. Check this out, guys. The storm was so bad that it blew this part right off of its support. So we got this one up here, which was one of these wall pieces sitting down here. Bracing it up right now. Look at that. It even snapped this rope. But, the bushcraft shelter withstood the storm a lot better than those trees down there did. And let's teach this little trick while we're filming too. See? How you get your fire going. We found an old busted tent piece, tent pole. And it's just long enough, you can just blow through it. Bushcraft bellows, guys. All this wood is wet up here. We started with snapping some branches off the, the lower branches off the trees like I was showing last time. Which got the fire going with a few pine needles. But to get this wet wood going, since we still have a storm coming, the bushcraft bellows work great. You can also have a collapsible one. You just make out of an old antenna or something like I got here. So you can collapse it. I hope that helps somebody. There we go. We're getting quite a wood pile now. All these logs. 
take advantage of it. Hell yeah. Going to town on these trees. Getting them sawed up pretty good, guys. Check it out. Most of the limbs sawed off. We're sawing them up into about four feet chunks. Gather up all these limbs. Get ready for the storm. really cold up here guys but we got this also really beautiful update on the bushcraft broken shelter redid the lashing so far I'm going to put an extra brace over here. Now that we know when this comes down, it's not going to hit this. This one's too narrow. I'm going to put a wider one out here. Learn as we go, guys. Didn't expect no hurricane type weather. Knocking down five trees. We'll just make it more sturdy then, won't we? Still nursing our fire over here too. And keep them coals going. Keeps getting windy and then calming down. Cloudy and gloomy. And blue skies. Welcome to the mountains. <laughs> Where anything can happen, it usually does. Yes, it sure does. It's worth it to be at this spot. We were just talking about that earlier. You gotta earn it. Smolder, smolder. I'm getting my little bush crap bellows here, man. I'm gonna wait for you to put your hand in it and I'm gonna blow on it. Good, warm my hand. That's how you do it. Okay guys, well Curtis just left. So it's just me here now. Fire pit's doing good. I got the little cooking one going too. I wanted coffee. Haven't made any more progress on this yet. Still got it all braced up. Try to work on that later. Got a pretty bad storm coming. It looks like it's coming from across the lake over there. mountain range over there already has snow on it so I'm preparing for the worst got both my fires going may put a tarp over the bushcraft shelter for the time being so I'll have another dry spot because this isn't going to be completely watertight like this so we're going to batten down the hatches Got plenty of firewood. Got plenty more right down there. All I gotta do is go down there and get it. We're ready for this, right guys? I keep saying that I'll come out during the bad weather and film it now since I got the waterproof camera. Let you guys see what it's really like camping in the mountains. Pretty awesome. 
You just got to be able to roll with all the changing weather. It's just a little while ago it was all blue and sunny. Now it's all gray and gloomy. Kind of looks like snow clouds to me. I don't know my exact elevation, but I'm pretty high up in the mountains. And like I say, the mountains around me already have snow on them. So we'll see what happens, guys. We could get some rain, we could get some snow, but either way, we're ready for it. Always ready for it. It's cold. It feels like winter. You get away from the fire pit. Over here, it's nice and warm. Thought I'd give you guys an update. If it does start storming, I'll film it, but like I said, I'll be in the waterproof camera. And you know, you can barely hear me in that one. But we'll see if we can get one of these storms on film. plus work on this. I think the next thing I'm going to do before the storm hits is I'm just going to throw a tarp over this part right here. Fasten it down. I can probably tie it to this stake down on this side. And last time I was working on this I was out of paracord. So these aren't really fastened on this side so We'll figure that out when we get to it. No worries. Brought another 50 feet to the paracord this time. We'll see how far that goes. Won't be able to make as much progress today. I gotta do some repairs. Gotta make sure it's good and sturdy before I start putting any more weight on it or anything. It's just kind of braced for right now. We'll get uh, another support cut. I'm going to use a lot wider support. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. We'll see. I'll update you guys when there's some more progress. There we go, guys. I got the tarp on. Temporarily. Just keeps getting darker and darker. Temperature's dropping. Wind's blowing in. You can hear it. This should help. Here we go. What do you think, guys? That should hold out a lot of rain. I want to see what these trees do in the storm. So I can conform my way of building to what's going on around here. Can't keep having it falling apart, moving off of its supports and stuff. So another good reason to be up here during the storm. Get to see what's really going on. That tarp was a perfect fit. Check it out. Good thing I'm not finished with it yet, huh? Or it wouldn't have went all the way across. That'll work for this storm. I just tied it down in the corners and a couple along the sides here. Hold it in place. It'll probably flop around a bit in the wind, but no worries, like we always say, right guys? Like this one went out. Well, this one's still doing good. Nice and warm here. Wow, see? Now that's starting to blow. Getting windy, guys.
All this stuff withstood that last storm. And those trees down there didn't. Guess we were just meant to have this nice dead wood. These were dead trees that fell over down here. I think one of them landed on the living tree and killed it though. That's what it's looking like. That one right there. It got knocked down by this one right here. We've been sawing pieces off of it. It's nice and dry and dead. It's making great firewood. Should have enough for the whole weekend. <coughs> so don't worry about me guys. I think I just felt some raindrops. Might be waterproof time. Alright, it's not raining yet. It was just a few drops and then it stopped. For now. It's building up for something. But I'm over here working on this. I've been pounding this one, the new support, in. And see, there's a big gap up here. I'm going to just take this one out. I'm going to just cut it, reuse this paracord. Cut it up there and down here. We'll take that one out and then I'm going to pound this one in all the way up. Then it's not going to be just lined up with the tree. It's not going to pop off as easily. I'll take that one out, pound this one in, and probably kick it in a little bit. Maybe put a stake right here. See how it goes. There we go. Got that one out. Now I got to beat this one in. go. We put a stake right there. Grab one of our little pre-made stakes over here. Let's put it right here. Hopefully this will hold it through the storm and we can see what's going on. Make a new plan. You gotta adjust to go with nature. Okay. That should hold for now. Learn as you go, guys. Always have to adjust the plan. That's pretty solid, though. Might wedge an extra support in here. We'll see. See what happens during the storm. I gave it a little room to be able to move. There's a little gap there. See if that gives it enough flex to not fall apart when the real strong winds blow. But that should be good and hold it for now.
just frying up some hamburger and throw some potatoes in it. Nothing really special. Got the fire going nice and hot. having problems with the little one because it's so wet down inside. I'm going to have to dig out the wet stuff. I'm trying to just dry it out from the top. But that's taking forever and by the time I get it, the storm's going to be already here. That's okay. And when I say nothing special about the hamburger with the fried potatoes, I mean I'm not going to sit here and explain how to do it. I'm not going to make a whole video. It's just some hamburger with some, some chopped up potatoes. It's going to be amazing, actually. It sure looks like it's going to snow. What do you think, guys? I'll get out of the smoke. Can you guys tell through the camera? Those look like snow clouds or rain clouds. They sure look like rain clouds, or snow clouds to me, sorry. They looked like rain clouds earlier, but those ones blew away. We got some blue sky. And then these white ones rolled in. I might just be in the clouds here pretty soon. Maybe it'll be all foggy up here. It doesn't show up too good on camera, but I'll give it a try. Could be cool. Oh, it's nice and warm over here. It's the only warm spot on the whole mountain, it looks like. Update on the bushcraft shelter. You guys seen me pound that one in. I just put this one here too. We kind of got a double support beam system going with a gap for movement of the tree. So hopefully allowing the tree to move that much shouldn't tear this side off like it did before. Every spot's different and every tree you attach to is different. So you don't know till you try. Sometimes you just have to change your plans and go with it. It's no worries. Just gonna take a little longer than before. We got this guys. Still got to cut the rest of these off too. That's why the tarp's all goofy right now. I took these ropes right here, just attach them to carabiners and to the rope to hold the top of the tarp on. That'll be nice and easy to unclip. Take that off. Hopefully tomorrow I can get a lot more done on this. Today's just the first day at camp, getting enough firewood and all that and preparing for what storm is about to come down upon my head. But I am the crazy one that loves this stuff and I love being able to teach you guys this stuff too. So thank you for coming along with me yet again to this awesome camp. beautiful spot. Love it up here. Poor Curtis didn't want to go home, but he can't handle the cold. And plus he has that grandbaby to take care of, help out. Very proud grandpa there. With all rights.
so much firewood. So got to harvest it all. No real big hurry though. Because the more I harvest it, the more I'll burn it all up. You know, as it gets colder, my fire will get bigger and bigger. If I have to, I'll get this one going again. Not in a big hurry on that one. I'm just going to cook on this one for now. Unless the weather gets too bad and I have to stoke this fire up too much. But we'll see. We'll just roll with whatever Mother Nature has in store for us tonight, guys. Because we're the Rad Pack and we have no fear. Maybe no common sense either. Who knows? Maybe that's just me. I'm the crazy one out here all by myself for a whole weekend. But no problem. No worries. It's what I'm used to. It's what I grew up with. Now I'm learning the whole technology part to be able to teach it to you guys. So... Hopefully you guys learn a little bit here and there from this stuff. When I show doing stuff my way, doing stuff the wrong way, doing stuff whatever way. But it's starting to look pretty good. Got delayed a little bit. I had different plans than doing this. But looking pretty good. And now I've put a tarp on this side too. I just put some regular tent stakes in on this side. Just tied it up here to this beam. Just temporary. But now we got this whole area in here. Nice waterproof area. Pretty cool. I can stand up in it. See? Almost like a really big tent right now. Now oh, they're starting to look like rain clouds. They're getting darker and gloomier. But we got somewhere we can duck out of it. See? Nice big area. And then, if it's still terrible tomorrow, and we need to take this tarp off to work on it, we'll still have this tarp over here as an extra spot. We'll just see what the weather does. Looks like it's going to be pretty bad. But there we go. What it looks like from Curtis's side. Nice big spot. Not as worried if it starts pouring down now. My tent's good, it's still got the tarp over it. Food's still cooking away. Doing good. It's cool, if you don't get too carried away, you can continue to do what you need to do while your food's cooking. Just run over and check on it once in a while. Don't have your fire way too hot. Hopefully that keeps the tools dry too. We'll see. Gotta hang Curtis's saw back up. This is a good saw for sawing up that firewood down there. We'll just clip it up there. There we go. Looking good guys. Thank you for being patient. You know, I am going to make mistakes along the way. I just had that braced way too tight to that tree. So when it got moving in the wind, which I expected it to move, I just didn't expect it to move that much. 
but it must have been bad up here. You can see areas on the ground where the water flowed like a river. Yet the lake down there is still dropping. I don't understand. And now it's starting to get dark, guys. Sun's going to be going down soon. Just sitting here by the fire right now. Probably going to be it for tonight. I'll pick up filming again tomorrow. Here pretty soon it's going to be too dark to film. I keep feeling raindrops too. I think it's just about ready to rain. But if something cool happens before tomorrow morning, I'll see you guys in the mor or I'll see you guys again tonight. But if not, then I'll see you in the morning.